guys, it is Libby. So I'm editing right now and I just wanted to put a little disclaimer about my English. So if you hear me make some mistakes, I was obviously immersed in German for six months at this point. So it's just a result of that. But I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway. And today I have with me my friend Vanessa, Hello. who is German, even yeah. though you cannot tell when she speaks English. Oh, you because you cannot tell if that's No, I swear to God. You. Okay, so the reason that we are sitting down filming a video for mm -hmm. you guys is because it was like, what, like two months ago? This is so embarrassing. Yeah, it's, been it so it's been so long. It's been so long. It was like two months ago, and Vanessa was like, look, I just watched your video. Like, this is so cool. Like, we should make a video together. And I'm like, what? That would be so cool. <laughs> So, um, cause we go to the same school. I, mm -hmm. I forgot to mention anything. So if you're new, if this is like the first video you're watching of mine, I know we don't do these kinds of like sit down types of videos, um, but they're actually kind of fun so far. So maybe I'll start. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, I'm an exchange student and I live, I come from America and I'm living for a year in Germany and it's the opposite with Vanessa. So Vanessa was an exchange. You want to tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, funny. I was on exchange to Oregon in um, fall 2019 um, for three weeks only, sadly. But I'll be back in August. Anyway. Um, she just found out. I, well, yeah, just found out. Like funny. a month ago. <laughs> Basically, what this video is going to be is we're going to be talking about the differences between America and Germany. And I think mm -hmm. it's really, really cool. Like, it's such a cool idea because <laughs> I am from America and I come here and then she's the opposite. Like, I don't yeah. know. I think that's really cool. I have like this little list on sticky notes down here that I wrote in November. After three months being here, these are just like the things that I like that came to mind. And it's actually like some of my opinions have changed. When you first get here, you have like this culture shock, and I'm sure you can relate. Yeah, like, like, America, you were I like, do. what? <laughs> and you miss so many things, and you're just always comparing like home with your new surroundings. Um, but then you get used to it and then you're just kind of like, you forget about every, not like forget, but like you kind of forget about everything that was America, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so you just kind of like forget about all the conveniences that you really miss when you first came here. You want to start off with one of the ones you think first? We can oh my like, God. One of the ones, well, um, something that I noticed at first sight was cause I was picked up by my host dad with like a huge truck, right? Oh. <laughs> And you wrote that down as well. Yeah. Big my cars. Time. My mom was a single mom with two kids, so like me and my older sister, mm -hmm. and she had a car with eight seats. Really? Yeah. For like oh me my and my God. friends or like <laughs> road tripping or just like whatever. Yeah. I mean, it actually, it does make sense, but like. That's crazy. It is. <laughs> I wrote that shit down too. I wrote down small cars for mm -hmm. <laughs> Germany because I'm like, it's not like every single person owns a truck in America, yeah. but it's like when you're driving down the road, there's lots of big cars. Yeah. Like it's like you might be in a small car, but there's there's lots of big cars mm -hmm. and then when you come here it's like every single car doesn't it doesn't like all look the same but they're all the same structure I guess yeah. so yeah, it's like they're they all are. small also about cars licenses oh yes the drivers I could oh my god I could write a novel yeah. about this like, so first of all we in America can um, get our permit with 15 and then your license with 16 and then here it's different yeah it is I mean you can get a permit when you're like 17 and okay. then you drive until you're 18 and you can get your driver's license your actual driver's license then you can drive on your own but you still have two years that they can take away your permit easier yeah i mean like if you look at the prices it's really different as well yeah oh my god mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure there's like some fee involved like it's not completely free in america yeah. i could be wrong it could be completely free but i don't i'm not quite sure mm -hmm. um but here it's like crazy. it's really expensive i mean like um as I said, I'm doing it right now, and I am, well, I'm expecting to pay at least 1,400 euros, which is about a thousand, six hundred dollars right? Yeah. Another thing that we are going to talk about is Costco. <laughs> Costco, oh my god, I love Costco. Nine kilograms of Oreo, here we go. <laughs> I love, like, I kind of understand what nine kilograms is, but when you first Kilo said that, oh, I was yeah, like, kilograms. Oh at first god, I was like, oh wait, wait, and then which, that's another wait, no, thing, actually. I'm gonna actually. Google that, I'm gonna Google what nine <laughs> kilograms is in pounds. Like, they were like, how tall are you? I was like, 172 centimeters, <laughs> and she just looked at me like, uh... I wonder, I, like, if someone would ask me that, I would not know what to say in centimeters. I don't know what it is. Like, all I know is that I'm 5'3". 
Like, is that I weird for you to hear? Because when you just said yeah. 172 centimeters, I like, like, I know that's a lot. <laughs> like, I know it's a lot, but whenever I hear centimeters, I'm like, oh, she's this tall. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had to translate my height into feet when I, like, applied for the scholarship stuff. Uh-huh. You know? But, like, I can't Do you know remember. what it is? 6'3 okay. or something? No way. No. 6'3 okay. is, like, <laughs> basketball player. Oh, really? Yeah, 6'3, definitely. Six, three. I would say you're 5'6, five, 5'6, five, five, okay. Well, 6 was not completely wrong, though. <laughs> Five six. I'm right. Like half a foot off. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's a good thing that I don't know how much a half a foot is. <laughs> this, okay. Wait. Do you, do you like you know the basic ones where like twelve inches is in one foot, right? You didn't know that. Because <laughs> it's all so random. It is. So it's twelve or inches are in one foot, and an inch is this uh-huh. much. Do this with your thumb. That's an inch. That's an inch. That's an inch. It's not exactly perfect, but almost always that's an inch. So imagine 12 of those. I can wrap up 13 pounds? <laughs> 13 pounds of Oreos? Yeah. I have never seen that. That's insane. I have a photo of it. That's like a small dog. <laughs> it's like a small dog. Worth of Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's crazy. Like... You should have bought what? that at the at the beginning of the exchange year and then look how how long it took. Whoa, dude! It would last me like I swear to God, it'd last me three weeks. Like not three ever. weeks only for six pounds. Yeah, easily. I never stop eating. Do you see that? That's probably gonna last me one month. I'm not even kidding. All of that. Yeah. She's. I'm American. So oh, I wonder what will happen to me if I come back to Oregon and then I'll don't. eat so much stuff. Okay, I thought that the same thing was gonna happen to me. I was like, okay, we won't have junk food mm-hmm. or as much junk food. But I'm going to be eating bread constantly. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. Like, I don't think, well, you obviously realize, but German people watching this, you guys don't realize how much bread you eat and how, like, Mm -hmm. unnormal to me it is. Like, it's, or unnormal is not a word. Abnormal to me it is. Because it's like, you guys eat, like, a lot of bread for breakfast. And then, but, like, my family, we don't really eat lunch. But when we do, I, like, buy something at the school and it's on, like, a brochin. It's, like, a brochin sandwich. Wait, and then, is it, like, the... the yeah, the like, ones from the cafeteria. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you guys eat, like, a lot of bread here. It's a lot. And mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to gain a lot of weight. And I've gained some. Like, there's, like, um, a saying in the exchange student community. Yeah. That sounds so gross to say. It but, does. like, an exchange student community where it's, like, when you go on exchange, no matter where you're going, no matter where you're coming from, you gain, like, a good seven pounds, at least, I would say. Like, I'd be there for a year. I just keep asking myself how much that is in kilograms. I can't imagine <laughs> so seven if, pounds at all. If six kilos is uh, 13, 13 right? then it's like three kilos. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, Costco is like a whole other world of, like, capitalism that I just never even yeah. thought that much about. I was just like, oh, it's Costco. Like, it's just like you buy a lot of food for a lower amount. But then... She went to Costco <laughs> and posted on her story about it when she was there. It was I did. So it was crazy. Like, you walk in there and it looked like Ikea. <laughs> I was just walking in there. I was like, oh my God, this is Ikea. <laughs> I think there's like a part in Costco where you can get like four gallons of like chocolate. Yes. Milk. Do you know what yes. I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Like, it's just an mm-hmm. insane mm-hmm. amount of food. But like, honestly. It's really cheap. Like, if you... Like, the normal milk bottles, bottles, you have, like, bigger bottles, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, the, these ones? Yeah, like, these ones, right? These are completely yeah. normal for you, right? Yeah. Exactly. Like, when you come to Germany, have you... Like, you've seen a milk bottle yeah. before, right? You know how small they are in Germany? <laughs> Everything's so small. The cars are small. The milk bottles are small. Everything's small. I think just, like, life here is very much more, like, <laughs> manageable. And everything in America is based on, like... First of all, capitalism, but it's also mm-hmm. just like all convenience. Everything's just really small in Germany, except for the people that are as tall as basketball yeah. players. <laughs> there was like six three. <laughs> Which okay, that's I didn't write that down, but on my first day of school here, mm-hmm. I got here, and I don't think I've ever told you this before, but yeah, I like not. I like walked into school, and mm-hmm. I was like, these men are giant. I was like, they're huge. I like could not grasp the fact. That all of these, like, guys who were in my grade were, like, six foot tall or, like, six really? foot one. Yeah. Like, in America, like, I, I mean, maybe Oregon, they're just built taller. Because <laughs> there's guys in my school who are, like, my height. Mm-hmm. And so when I, or, like, in America, I mean, you remember when we lined up at the integration trip? Yeah. And, like, based on height. Yeah, I know. And I remember. I remember that it was, like, pretty much, like, well, not, like, for sure, but it was, like, almost... Like girls, and then it started having uh-huh, some boys, uh-huh, and then uh-huh. it was all boys. And yeah. I was like, 
that is not how it is in my school. So I was like, but I like that. I'm like, uh-huh. well, I like tall boys. <laughs> and then the Brötchen, we mentioned a little bit earlier, but it just kind of symbolizes German life. Mm-hmm. You just go to the bakery and you grab a Brötchen, or like a lot of Brötchen. Ten. Yeah, like ten of them. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, like every German well, has ordered at least ten Brötchen in their life before. <laughs> the next thing that I wrote down was vines, because German people don't know vines. And that's... Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but my brain was like, vines, 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 exactly. water are vines. <laughs> but then I remember. But, like, the thing is, nobody... Like, we had vine over here as well. Like, it, the mm-hmm. pop platform, right? It's basically that now, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it got deleted, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we had that over here, but, like, it was not a big thing. Mm-hmm. And then all those vines came back with, like, meme videos and yeah. stuff like that, but then they were not called Vines anymore, which is memes, right. and that's it. I mean, like, we have a huge meme community over here. We have a <laughs> lot of German memes, which are really bad. Vanessa, and- the way you said that, we have a big meme community. <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to think of it, I'm going to clear up something real quick. Um, so, please don't roast me because me and my German friend are talking English. This is one of the only German friends who I speak English with yeah. because she speaks English so quickly and Aww. easy. <laughs> So sweet. Um, I speak German with she does. most of my like like all day long and then most of my mm-hmm. German like friends I speak German with them but I have this rule where like I'm going to respond in whatever language I am asked a question or like spoken to in so if you come up to me and you speak English I'm most of the time going to respond in English with you because I think it would be like kind of rude if I'm just like like you try to like engage me in English and me just like shut that down you know because yeah. like for some people I'm like they're only like outlet to English and if they want to speak English like who am I to say no so Mm -hmm. I normally like respond in English but if you speak to me in German there's no way I'm going to respond in English like I'm going to respond in German but I just wanted to clear that up that I do speak German with my friends and she speaks it really well seeing that you've only been here for how many months now six months six months I mean how how many years have you had German before six years (laughs) some people do know it because like if you're more active in the recently mentioned meme community. <laughs> if you're an active member in the meme, German meme community. No, but like, some people know it, some people don't. It was not as cool as it was in America. It's not as common, not um, as many people know it, but, like... Do you think TikTok is becoming what Vine was? Yeah, you know but I mean? that's so and sad. And that is, like, here. That is, like, TikTok really TikTok is a really here. big thing. Okay, so sorry for the abrupt ending, but that was the video. Me and Vanessa talked about this kind of stuff for, like hours so i have a lot of more footage if you guys want a second part or i think like there's even enough stuff for a third part let me know and if you want to enjoy the last three minutes of me and vanessa kind of being language nerds and talking about german and english and accents and all that kind of stuff and i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye say sorry like with the german like really we do say so so (laughs) so sorry but like make it german you know what i can't do it german german yeah german sorry sorry yeah, that. Yeah, it's like... Rrr. I can't do that. We, you can't sorry. do that rrr sound. Sorr. I can, but I can't initiate yeah, can't it in the sorry. Over, yeah. Because I'm so used to saying sorry. So, like, when someone sorry. bumps into me, I always say sorry. And then they just... Like, because you can say sorry um, in German if you want to, but it's with that, like, really strong German or European accent. And so whenever I have to say it, and I say it the way that I normally do say it, everyone's so freaked out. They're like... What the hell? Like, because it's like what they expected to hear, but not how they expected to hear it, you know? So, yeah. This is already so. Have you ever wrong. tried to say Entschuldigung instead? Yeah, Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. But, like, yeah. Entschuldigung. But then, I think it's so cute. I'm not judging your Entschuldigung <laughs> now, but like, it's so cute how you say Entschuldigung. <laughs> I really don't want to have an accent, but I've like learned, le- learned German for so long with an accent mm-hmm. that it's so hard to undo it. Because, like, I'm learning a lot yeah. about the actual language and, like, new words and, like, how to s- slang. That's me and, with like, English. Because, okay, like, so. I mean, we've, we're, we've been taught, like, a mix of American and British English mm-hmm. for so long. And then I came there. And then I was, like, favorite with OU, you know? And you there was what? OU, favorite. Oh, like how you would spell it. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I said favorite in a British way as well. Favorite? Yeah. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh, my favorite color is da 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 And then people were like, <laughs> you spelt it wrong and you also pronounced it British. <laughs> and they felt so judged. It was like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs>
and I want to improve myself, so I can't. No, but I think like, if you if you don't have an accent at all, it's not even fun anymore. It's it, yeah. You know I mean? Like yeah. imagine me with no accent, it would be really. It would be so boring. Like yeah. why are you on exchange if you're already perfect? <laughs> right. <laughs> And, like, there's one word that whenever I say it, people, like, when I'm, like, with my friends and I say it, they just, like, laugh at me. Because it's, like, I can't. Kapoor. Kapoor. <laughs> Sorry. Because, <laughs> like, I, and so I, like, literally stopped saying it at the point. Because, it's like, I get that it's funny and, like, I can laugh at myself. But it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, I can't say it okay. all the time. Can you say it once more and then I'll say it correct? Wait, you say it correct and then I'll try to say it correct, but okay. it's not going to be correct. Okay, so if something's broke, right? Yeah. It's kaput. 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 Oh, I always say kaput. <laughs> you pronounce the U. But yeah, actually, kaput. you say, like, kaput. 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 Or, oh, my God, it's I just can't kaput. do it. <laughs> also, like, people will say a German word to me, and I just, like, and whenever I'm reading in German, I hear German accent. Like, I, it's not, like, an American kind of whatever, but mm-hmm. I can't say it. Like, I physically can't. My mouth doesn't do it, you know? Mm-hmm. Whatever. We talked about accents, too. <laughs> <laughs>